Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Modern Warfare 3 item shop video. This one's gonna be for December 19th. We got two brand new bundles to check out here today. We did have the Christmas event start, so we will have a separate video for that. And we'll also have some videos checking out some of those new playlists that are out right now in Modern Warfare 3. So let's hop right into it. We have two new bundles. We have the Santa Nas and we have the GG Easy Weapon Vault. So let's hop right in. We got the Claws Operator. Now it said this was an Ultra, but I don't see anything like too spectacular about it. Dash away, dash away. I like the I like the voice comms. I like the skin too. Yeah, the skin's cool. But uh, I, I swear it said it was an Ultra skin. Yeah, it says Ultra skin right there on the uh, top left. So, you know, I was thinking maybe it would be animated or something cool would be happening with it, but I guess not. Uh, we have the Mad Red Menace. Honestly, pretty plain looking. Uh, let's see what it says on the text there. Bloody Blueprint was found. Discarded magical bag that can be used to contain gifts for children, but now only holds horrors. Okay, we have the Horrifying Holiday Tracer, so let's check those out. All right, so no dismemberment effects, just a tracer. And uh, this is for the MCW, if I didn't mention that. 20 rounder, we're not going to want that, unless you're playing hardcore. Uh, Venom stock, Microtherm, a heavy barrel, and a hand stop. This is a pretty shitty build, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, hardcore, maybe. Other than that, no. Not not that good. I mean, it is an MCW, but still, not that good. We got the Naughty List. This is gonna be an AMR with a 100-round drum without a stock. Um, nope, not doing it for me here, either. We have uh, three Brain Rot Ammo Mods. We got the Undead Army, the Old Elf, the Dead Cold, and the Checking It Twice. $28 for this. $28. And if you are buying, like, the 2,000 Cod Point Bundle, uh, it'll probably be around $24. Um, dude, this is trash. This is so bad, dude. Like, for almost $30, you're getting two dog shit blueprints and a skin that is cool, but... It just there's nothing extra about it that I that I see here. There's nothing special. So, yeah, that's that's kind of an L. So this one's gonna be interesting. We have the GG Easy Weapon Vault here, and this looks like it's gonna be for the Hosier platforms. Uh, but we'll see here. We got the Yep Hosier five five six, then the Hosier twenty six, and then the DM fifty six. So the way this will go is you will get every attachment for all three of these weapons we were supposed to see a lot of this in modern warfare 2 but all we saw was what we got at launch now don't get me wrong this looks phenomenal these, these look really good i like how these look and uh this fluorescent vibe a little bit of animation it's very tempting um i will say the hosier 556 the hosier 26 and the dm56 all of them are very good uh, the AR, the 5.56, is great in multiplayer, pretty damn good in zombies, and it's pretty solid in Warzone. The 26 is phenomenal in zombies, all right in multiplayer, a little slow, and I don't know about Warzone for this one. And the DM-56 right now is probably top 5, top 4 weapon in Warzone right now for range. I'm still using the MTZ Interceptor, but the DM-56 is certainly up there. Uh, so this is one of the better weapons right now in Warzone. It's pretty bad in Zombies, but it shreds in multiplayer as well. So you have every single attachment. It's going to... This this cosmetic look will apply to all of the attachments. So every single attachment that goes with these weapons will have this cosmetic look to it. It's 20 bucks. Uh, it's for three weapon platforms out of 36 plus whatever the new additions are. Uh, this is pretty good. 20 bucks for this. 2,400 cob points, assuming you're getting the 400 on the bonus by buying the $20 edition or buying a pro pack that comes with 2,400. This is not bad. Cosmetically, I, I like this one personally. If you don't, it is what it is. Uh, but this is a great way for you to get ahead if you are way behind on weapon leveling or whatever. And uh, I want to see more of this. This is very tempting for me to pick up. I don't think I will. I don't think I can make the $20 back based on three of pretty much the same blueprint if you really want to break it down. But, um, you know, it's really dope. 
And I don't want to support weapon vaults too hard because, you know, just grind for it. Just take a couple hours and grind it out. But since it looks so good cosmetically, that's like the main thing for me. It looks really good. So I uh, didn't mean to harp on that and really break that down as much as I did. But I, I'm, I'm a fan of this one so far when it comes to purchasable weapon vaults. We have Echoes and we got Brain Rig. We have the RGBE Ready. Then we have the Deliciously Digital. Then we got an Hour Double Weapon and Regular and Battle Pass. Got these two mixed up when I said it, but you guys know what I meant. Uh, one hour across the board on all three. 20 bucks for that. I'm going to be honest. They could have charged 30 There's a lot of people that would have paid the 3000 So uh, take what you can get. The fact that you can get this bundle for cheaper than this bundle should say how overpriced this Santa Nas bundle is. And it's just going off of the... Uh, the holiday hype, if you want to call it that. So uh, this one is one I'm definitely going to have to think about just because it looks so damn good. But when it comes to, uh, you know, the shop today, not that bad. So do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.